Hey everybody, it's Nick again for Grayscale Gorilla. I am the gorilla. I wanted to show you guys a quick little texturing thing I was playing around with today. You may have seen it before. It's kind of a beach ball, cue ball, candy stripe kind of thing I was uh, just wanted to share with you guys. So um, it's based on a tutorial uh, I put out yesterday. So look for the link on there if you haven't seen that. And uh, let's, uh, let's just jump in. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so here we are in Cinema 4D and basically this render is pretty similar to what we were working with yesterday with the cubes and learning how to do the um, learn how to use the new um, physics uh, portions of MoGraph 2.0 and all I did was replace the cubes with um, with uh, sphere okay so let me um, just kind of reset here you can see we have uh, some some particles, some balls falling, and what I what I started to play with was this um, kind of uh, candy coated texture that I've been putting on things lately. I want to show you guys how to how to set it up. So um, here's uh, let's just make a new material. Come in and in the color settings, you want to go to gradient um, and go to uh, uh, 2D V. Now this will map a gradient along the, the from top to bottom on your texture. And what you want to do is use this gradient slider here to kind of make like a cue ball stripe. And what you uh, I'm going to make it kind of a bluish color here. And what we want to do is make a stripe. So what I'm going to do is hold down control and drag over this white slider until we get a sharp edge. You can see now this gradient is going to go white to white and then instantly turn to blue. And then we're going to do the same thing whoops, we're gonna do it with the blue one. So now we have the blue one coming here and then the white there. So now you can see what the gradient's doing. We could even get rid of this one. It's white till here, sharp turn to blue, and then uh, blue till here, and then sharp turn to white. We have this nice little kind of cue ball uh, stripe right in the middle. And we could set up the width of it just like that. And we're gonna apply this to uh, the, our sphere and uh, let's do a quick render here. You can see what it looks like have this nice little cue ball render kind of deal, right? Um, the the last thing I want to do is add some reflection. So we'll add ref, uh, reflection and we'll add the Fresnel to the reflection so it's not as reflective straight on and more on the outside. I'm also going to turn down the full brightness of the reflection and then turn down our mix strength just a bit. I don't want it too reflective-y. Just enough. Just enough sheen to kind of reflect off everything else. Here comes our render have our nice reflective uh, spheres here and now you can uh, kind of go ahead now a lot of times I like to do um, multiple colors uh, inside of your um, cloner object and to do this uh, you just duplicate your object so now you have two spheres in the uh, cloner object and then you make a new um, I'm gonna copy paste this um, texture make a new texture and just come into your color gradient and change the color to, uh, let's say, an orange, of course. Um, whoops, we want to do that on the blue one. Okay, so here's the blue. We want to make it kind of ready orange. And let's say the stripe is bigger as well. Uh, in fact, let's say this one is white in the middle and orange on the top and bottom. You can see how we, we could do that pretty quickly just by flipping these uh, settings, or flipping these knots here. Now you can see it's orange on top, white in the middle, orange on the bottom. And then, now you just replace the texture on the second sphere. And what the cloner object's gonna do is alternate between the orange one and the blue one. And uh, I'm just gonna let this play out to just get a little kind of clump, clump of them in here. Do a render, and we can see what that looks like. That's looking pretty 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 good uh, so uh, of course you could do this again you can make um, uh, a black uh, version let's see if we can make a, a maybe a, like a black one uh, yeah we'll make it half black and half orange kind of go dark dark gray and again we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna copy and paste a sphere and we're gonna make that one um, half black and half orange. And let's do the same. Let's reverse and let the let the particles kind of calculate here. And now we're gonna have three different colors. We're gonna have 
there, there they are, the half black ones uh, with the half orange, and we have the blue, and we have the orange and white. So you can see how uh, quickly you can kind of set up variations and, with these kind of candy stripes. And uh, there we go, get a little nice little close up and move out the mouse here. And uh, you know, that looks pretty cool. I like it. So uh, that's it, that's the candy stripe uh, tutorial um, uh, texture thing I've been playing around with. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys do a render, send it to me. And uh, um, uh, if you have questions, let me know. Again, the new uh, Cinema 11.5 is out. So if you have questions, uh, drop an uh, idea for a tutorial in the comments and I'll do it. Uh, I'll see you guys really soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.